fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 10 June. It's the Monday. The Monday after non farm rolls and the Monday after the Mexican get out of jail free card from old Donnie Boy. We got most of continental Europe on holiday today, including Switzerland, although. Uh, we are just going to be beavering away here because New York and London are open as per normal. Um, took a nice quiet weekend, lots of fitness, spent a fair bit of time in the outdoors with my kids, uh, feeling uh, much better than I felt certainly on Friday. But tough week last week and conscious of that, so we're coming into this week... Um, you know, slapped upside the head, but ready for action. Let's take a look at what we think is going to happen here and on what should be a pretty quiet European morning. But let's just take a look overall and maybe have a look at some things um, that are going to be setting up earlier in the week here. First and foremost, we're going to take a look at this euro. We closed um, at 32. We opened at 21 now we're down at 07 um, the death knock of sort of this downward sloping trend line it doesn't really come in till 85 uh, and what we're going to suggest today is trying to pick up some euros um, on the way down to 112.85 the close above 113.10 uh, and the dollar swiss close and the dollar yen close uh, on Friday, basically kind of have us in this mood. This, here's the weeklies that Euro has turned. That's the weekly bar in Euro uh, from last week. Pretty powerful stuff. Closed at the highs. Uh, now we have a little bit of a news shakeup here, but uh, we do think picking up Euros on the dip and uh, jumping on to this sort of short dollar um, deal certainly at the beginning of this week uh, looks looks pretty good your cut here um, if we look at sort of the four hours is going to be 11250 so size accordingly you kind of want to leave sort of a 30 point stop and what we're looking to do is trying to get on this trend I would say in the early days first second inning of this. Uh, we do think Euro is going to be heading higher. One of the reasons we think that is Boons. Um, you, we just don't think this thing is going to be able to live at this all-time low yield of 26 basis points. Um, for many, many reasons, uh, we don't, you know, Vitamin is the, is, the, is the first reason if he gets a hold of the ECB, this is all going to flip on its head. Um, but uh, you got to be real careful with this yield here. Uh, U.S. yields are low. I think German yields are going to go a little bit higher. Certainly European yields uh, have the potential to go back higher. Basically because Europe hasn't changed at all, right? We're, you know, People who don't live here don't really realize that we never really grow here. But also, we never really shrink here either. We just kind of muddle along. We've muddled along for 20 years. Um, and so this sort of hysteria, yes, we're in sort of a lower point, even though employment numbers are pretty good. I can tell you here on the ground in Europe, um, there's no drama economically here. Uh, Southern Italy aside, there's no drama economically. There is some political worries, uh, populism and whatnot. Uh, there's some questions on immigration. and But as far as economically, Europe is, is fine. It's not great, but again, it's not terrible. It's basically Europe being Europe. So that's just anecdotal, anecdotal stuff. More importantly, this weekly bar, have a look at it. Um, two things on this so if you're looking right hand side which we are today and we will be this week great if you're looking left hand side this sets up pretty um, pretty easily now I mean this is just a massive uh, break trade sort of 111 
111.10. Now four, four, five lows down there. Um, and if you want something that's going to be close to um, a sure thing, the next trip down to 111.10 will be a cacophony of sellers. So you kind of have a choice here. You can just basically do nothing if you don't feel like buying euros, which I kind of understand because it's hard to get your head around buying Europe. Um, it's very unsexy. Uh, but I can tell you this, uh, 111.08 put it in your book for the rest of the year keep your eye on this level this is a massive level um, and I think it'll prove to be very painless getting into this if we're down there getting short through this level should be should be very tidy anyway enough said there dollar Swiss we're going to talk about briefly just because the SNB is this Thursday I talked on Twitter last night about uh, how many guys are talking about the SNB this week locally? To me personally, who doesn't claim to understand the SNB too, too well, uh, I don't think they're going to do anything. I don't understand what they could possibly do. But I think this is one of the two uh, SNB meetings of the year where they have a press conference. So if they are going to do something, it's likely one of those two meetings. Again, I have no idea what they could possibly do, but I do know they're worried about Euro Swiss. Um, when we talked about it last week, below 111.50, every housewife, child, retiree, electrician, every human in Switzerland was trying to buy Euro Swiss down there. Um, and you saw, I think the low Euro Swiss was 40. And just miraculously, here we are at 112.05. What was the low? 20. Sorry, the low was 19. Hmm. I'm not sure when that was. I guess quickly. No, low is 37, sorry. Yeah. Um, anyway, SNB is making some noise, or they're going to be probably saying nothing. But it's just worth keeping an eye on it on Thursday. Uh, buying Euro Swiss below 111.50 looks, looks like a pretty steady, uh, safe trade, unless risk goes completely upside down and there's a war in Iran, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But if under normal circumstances, I can tell you the locals here are um, playing this game. And unlike many locals around the world, you don't want to fade the local Swiss flow. Um, insider's market here. Take that from an outsider. Um, anyway, enough said about the Swiss. Dollar yen, we had a little bit of a jump up here. Nice little 40 point gap at the open. Don't trust this at all. We like selling uh, up towards 109. This uh, 109 figure 20 is great resistance. Um, going back with the, we think the dollar has turned. Core short is the way. Even though we had a weekly indecision bar here. We can see this going sideways, and then eventually we're going to break this 107.80 uh, towards the end of this week, or maybe next week. Or, uh, but we think sideways uh, is the best bullish case, so we could get up to 109.20 or so, but the risk is further downside uh, as far as we're sitting. Let's check out Aussie. We had that was a that was a bit of a mover um, last night looks pretty bad I still can't quite I didn't get the news uh, why Aussie got smashed uh, but we kind of gapped open up to uh, 23 there um, and then just couldn't really couldn't really make any make any headway um, above above 70 cents now we're coming to all of these lows here down at 60 this looks like it's gonna eventually get through here 
there's many reasons to sell Aussie. Obviously, they're dovish, and obviously, uh, the Chinese stock market is not bouncing. Obviously, there's a trade war. Uh, there's a million reasons to sell it, but just purely technically, this looks pretty bad. Let's see what happens down at 60. Um, we're not going to jump on this bandwagon here at the European Open, but it's something to be consider. Dollar CAD gapped open down to uh, 38, very stretched. We've moved back to 74. Um, this is now going to consolidate. We've had a nice little run here from 135.50 down to 132.50. This is dollar CAD. This is not dollar Turkey. This isn't going to just continue to plummet straight line down to 130, uh, especially with oil in a bear market. So look for consolidation here. Uh, we won't be selling this uh, until 133, 40, 50. So the dollar CAD train, uh, we hopped off that train. We made some money on that last week. Thank God, smoothed the P and L, um, smoothed our smoothed our P and L, um, and now we'll just wait. Uh, the resistance is 133, 50. Could really do anything here. We may not even get above 133. The figure. But remember, if you sell at 133, the figure, your stop has to be at 60. Is that the kind of risk reward um, you're looking for? I would argue probably not. Let's take a look at gold. Um, 1350 is obviously hugely important, but even more important than 1350 is 1370. So this is the futures uh, chart, which is different than the cash chart, but they're, they're relatively similar patterns. Um, 1370 is massively important uh, if we get more thematically lower dollar and if risk turns also uh, this is a pretty straightforward story gold higher this can be picked up uh, I would say between 1320 and 13 the figure I'm not sure we're gonna get down there but we might um, we like gold higher going forward. Dollars are, we've kind of missed this last up move, which is not like us. Uh, the question at hand that I get from a lot of guys, are we going to make a new high above 1570? Um, I have to say I'm not sure. But the, obviously the economic story in South Africa, as always, looks like dirt. Um, and... This weekly bar was pretty powerful, so certainly it looks like we're going to get at least to make another try at 1520, and this will be just dependent on risk, which brings us back to S&Ps. Um, 2898, the high, we gapped open. Here's that weekly bar, bullish engulfed. We paid the highs, kind of close to the highs, uh, 83 in our medium-term book one of the worst trades I've ever made in my entire life was trying to fight this um, and I kept saying to myself oh I made so much money on the downside on this part I made on the downside here I was it was great and I was like it's got to turn it's got to turn terrible 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 trading anyway moving on we gapped open we have not closed this gap surely we'll close it at some point today uh, if you don't believe in this, as you can see from um, our boys in the United States last night, they don't believe in it. I also don't believe in it. Um, where the turn is going to be, I just don't know. Uh, it would be silly for me to be like, I know the turn because I thought the turn was going to be at 2780. Let me just repeat. This is where we, and you can go back to Tuesday when I was like, okay, you can start getting short here and trade this from the short side. That was a good hundred and five handles away, straight line. Not even wasn't it was untradeable. Like you never got given if you sold. So it would be uh, silly of me to be like, oh, let's pick the top here. Well, we can say for with pretty good surety, we will close this gap at some point today. We will see how this goes. Uh, we have to consider that expiration is the twenty-first of June for these contracts. Um, so there's there will be some vol in this at the end of next week and then things will probably settle in going into the SEP contract um, 
a lot of people are talking about 2904 um, just from positioning and, and uh, sort of the max pain area the options guys are saying this is max pain or they're throwing that around I don't know uh, we're just gonna trade this technically now and stop uh, hoping that Trump fails and stop uh, trading our bias look for a gap fill today uh, and then tradable I don't think we're gonna make a new high today unless we unless we get news uh, once the gap is filled it becomes tradable uh, Boons like we said we're at 25 basis points is this gonna turn I don't know Germany's out today so so is the rest of continental Europe not a data trade boons but something to watch uh, and you're waiting for a bearish setup this is not a gap here this is a new contract for those of you who don't trade fixed income don't bother um, but for those of you listening who do trade fixed income certainly better than I do we're waiting now just waiting and watching for the signal because this is uh, we're at hysteria minus 25 basis points all right I've said a lot today uh, but I've also said very little uh, so I mean we're gonna be buying some euros that's kind of our main theme today we will be looking to fade some dollar yen up towards 109 uh, the rest of the stuff is we're just waiting and watching waiting for our levels being patient all right good luck today make some dough and I will see you tomorrow. Ciao.